Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by... Welcome to Spotlight on Naperville, Community That Cares. I'm Nancy Wearsome. The nonprofit community is presenting some very special events and important messages. Today's show highlights six exceptional organizations, each committed to the vibrancy and well-being of our entire community. So thank you for joining us as we feature these extraordinary groups all deserving of the spotlight. And we're gonna open our show today with the Catholic Education Foundation. So welcome back to you. I think it was a year ago that you were all on set with us. So good to see you again. We have Joe Langendurfer is executive director. So good to have you back, Joe. Jane Lager is program director. Right. So good to have you. Thank you. And Father John Belmonte is the school superintendent for the Diocese of Joliet. So that's a big job. Yes, it is. A very Keep big job. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk first, Joe. Let's kind of reiterate what the mission is of the foundation. Sure. The uh, Catholic Education Foundation is a nonprofit public foundation that was created in 1996. Our primary mission is distributing need based scholarships to qualified students throughout our grade schools and high schools, 54 of them in the Diocese of Joliet. So that's, that's quite a few. So Father Belmonte, why do you think this foundation is so important for the community? Well, so, so important because we offer the opportunity to young people to get a Catholic education who might not be able to afford one. Uh, we have a very big diocese. It goes from uh, all the way north into Page County down to Kankakee. Um, we have uh, 15,000 grade school students and 22,000 students all together with 63 schools. We're the 22nd largest Catholic school system in the country. Uh, and the Catholic Education Foundation serves to make excellent education, Catholic education available to uh, young people who can't afford it. So uh, we believe very much in our mission as uh, educators, uh, and we want to uh, make uh, Catholic education available to more children. What a great mission. And we were, we were saying before the show began that you've got a new pope. So the leadership is wonderful for you, and he's been on the Time Magazine cover. Very and excited, very excited. Yeah, yeah. so that's got to be very exciting for all of you. He likes us too. Uh, I bet he does, <laughs> I bet he does. Well, good. Now, Jane, let's talk a little bit more in more detail about what the foundation does do for the young people. So how does this work with the scholarships? Our main mission, as um, Joe said, is to provide scholarships for students that are in our Catholic schools. And our, uh, we provide financial aid through an application process. And we're currently accepting applications for next school year. I know it seems like it's a little bit early, um, but we do accept applications um, January 31st through um, March 1st. And so you can go online and fill out an application. Um, it's one application per family. Even if you have students in grade school and high school, it's one application. So we try to make it as simple as possible for families. So if there was a whole family of students in need, one application, they may be able to get scholarships for all of the students? That's mm -hmm. correct, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, that mm -hmm. is really nice. Mm -hmm. So what you know, what percentage of the students do need some sort of scholarship or financial help? This year, for the schools in the Naperville area, we provided scholarships to about 98 students just in the three Naperville Catholic grade schools, um, and that represents almost 10% uh, of their population. Okay. So one out of 10 students in the Catholic schools in Naperville is receiving assistance. That's really a, uh, mm -hmm. a significant number. Mm -hmm. And we should say what those schools are. Mm -hmm. So which ones are, are in Naperville? Saints Peter and Paul, mm -hmm. uh, Saint Raphael, and All Saints Catholic Academy. Uh, and those schools represent about 1,500 students total out of 15,000 grade school students. So that's about 10% of the total population of the, of the Diocese of Joliet Catholic Schools. And so it's a very significant representation for the diocese and three excellent schools. And so uh, by, by providing these scholarships, we make excellent education available to more students here in, uh, in Naperville. Uh, and we do, have, uh, we do have space. There, is, uh, there are empty seats to be filled, and, uh, and we're very determined to see those, uh, those seats uh, get filled so that more students can get an excellent Catholic education. That's excellent. And we were talking that another way people could help who maybe don't have students in the age groups that, that would be attending if they wanted to help provide a scholarship. So tell us about Very that. Very much so, yeah. We have uh, two primary sources of income, unrestricted uh, gifts 
They come in through our fall scholarship drive that is actually taking place right now. Uh, and also through our restricted gifts. Some family, uh, individual family foundations or individuals, some corporate leaders have gotten together restricting specific funds uh, for perhaps only high school students, only grade school, uh, single mothers. In fact, we did for All Saints Catholic Academy, there was a family that came together to create a special education needs fund. So it supports all the special needs kids, uh, students at uh, All Saints Catholic Academy. So you're really covering it from both sides. You're asking, you know, if people would like to contribute, mm -hmm. certainly you're putting those scholarship dollars, dollars to, to very good use. We stretch the charitable dollars as far as we can. Yes, but we really mm -hmm. want students to understand that they can apply mm -hmm. for scholarships. So you say you have openings. So if there was someone maybe holding back mm -hmm. because of a financial challenge, mm -hmm. so tell us what that process would be then if they wanted to apply. Uh, they can apply um, through the school, the local school website. Each of them has a link as well as our website, which is dioceseofjoliet.org forward slash ED foundation um, and there's a link on there to apply for scholarships. And so if they were then to receive a scholarship when would they find that out so they could make their plans? Uh, they, we have the application deadline is March 1st and then typically by the end of May they'll receive notice from the foundation indicating whether or not they received an award. Typically also the local school will provide an additional award to the families. Okay, so do you have partial scholarships and full? Uh, the grade school scholarships are typically $700 and okay. the high school scholarships are $1,000. Okay, so they can So about 20% really... of the average grade school tuition and about 10% of the average uh, high okay. school tuition. Mm -hmm. Now that's from our unrestricted funding as I pointed out. Sure. Our restricted funds, uh, we have some, several donors who perhaps uh, pay 50% of the tuition. We have others that are a little bit more generous with it. It all depends on how they like to structure sure. Their, sure. their charitable fund. Well, we hope people who have interest will go on and apply because the window mm -hmm. is short mm -hmm. for them to do that. Mm -hmm. And we thank you so much for being a part of our show tonight and all the great work you're doing. Thank well, you. Thank, thank you for you everything much. Spotlight on Naperville does to advance philanthropy in our community. We you're appreciate it. You're very, very welcome. Thank you, Nancy. And we're going to take a very short break. When we come back, more Spotlight on Naperville. So stay with us.